welcome back to my channel it's your girl stephanie also lovely it has been a long time i do apologize guys i was out here getting my whole life together and i didn't even know if i was gonna make this video today but i had my makeup already done i already took off my lashes but i had my makeup already done and i was like why not do a video it's been Literally, I feel like it's almost been a year. I know it hasn't been a year, but I feel like it's almost been a year since I've made a video. And I owe you guys an explanation. So, today's video is going to be a where I've been video. Guys, I have been gone. I've been gone. I've been gone. But I'm back now, and hopefully I'll be doing a lot more videos for you guys to watch. Um... Thank you guys for all of your support and your love on my Instagram and on this channel. Even though I have been gone for months, I have been getting multiple, multiple comments. Um, one of my videos reached over 100,000 views, which is amazing. Like, come on now. I'm just a small little YouTuber trying to make it in the world. No, I'm just joking. But thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, if you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Stephanie, and um, this is my channel all about my weight loss, fashion, makeup, anything you guys want to see, I will deliver to the best of my ability. Um, but today's video is going to be dedicated to where I've been. This is going to be a very quick video. Um, so yeah, before I jump into this video, make sure you are subscribed to Stephanie Also Lovely to stay up to date with everything that I post. Um, and when I post it, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know what I post and when I post it. Um, and if you aren't following me on my social medias, I'll leave all of that below. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, I'm going to try not to ramble on on this video because I could talk literally all day and I don't have the time to do all of that. And I'm sure you don't want to be hearing me go like this for like two hours. So I'm going to keep this short. Um, I have been gone, guys. It's been months since I've made a video. A lot's been going on in my life. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of updates. I am going to do a separate video about the update on my weight loss. Um, your girl's looking good. Yeah, no, no, I'm just joking. Um, thank you guys so much for all of you guys that have followed me on my weight loss Instagram. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, oh, so lovely gets fit. You guys are amazing. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers on my um, weight loss Instagram. And then I have like thousands of subscribers on my other personal email or personal email personal Instagram that I post all my fashion things on um, you guys are amazing I really appreciate you guys some of you guys have DM'd me and said hey you know I just watched the video you're really inspirational um, I really just need tips I, I really just wanted to say how great you are you guys are all amazing thank you thank you thank you um, I will address my weight loss and my updates on my weight loss in another video which I'll probably record right after this one but today's video is just gonna give you guys a simple explanation of where I've been and why I've been gone for so long when I left YouTube world I don't want to say I left YouTube I never left you YouTube um, I just honestly I didn't feel like I was cute enough most days to actually record a video like I don't want to just be looking like a bum unless I'm doing like a vlog type video which let me know if you guys want to see a vlog I have a really boring life <laughs> despite what you see on Instagram I have a really boring life typically throughout the week um so let me know if you guys want to see a vlog maybe then you'll see me looking kind of crappy um but <laughs> I really just haven't gotten dressed I only get dressed um on Sundays and the reason for that and this is number one why I've been away and what's changed in my life um, I now work permanently from home um, so I have a home office that I work out of every day I still have the same job but um, I actually get the luxury of working from home so literally I roll out of bed sometimes I shower sometimes I don't Shh, don't tell anybody um, but I roll out of bed and just go downstairs to the office and work and then literally I walk out, make lunch, walk back in, work some more, walk back out, go to the bathroom. Like that's literally my day Monday through Friday. <laughs> Nothing really changes. Um, working from home is cool. I really enjoy the luxury of being able to feel like I can be myself, don't have to you know worry about people talking to you and bothering you throughout the day like working from home is legit I can say though I miss being outside like getting outside I don't feel like I get outside enough 
Um, and I might change that. Like, I might start doing, like, I think that'd be really cool if I started doing vlogs. Like, lunchtime vlogs. Hmm. Maybe I'll think about doing like a lunchtime vlog mini series or something and see how that goes on this channel and then go from there. But uh, that's just an idea that just popped in my head. Let me know if you guys like that idea. But um, yeah, um, working from home is really cool. It's very different, but I enjoy it. Um, if you ever get the chance to work from home, like take advantage of it, please. In the comforts of your own home and you don't have to like get dressed or have to worry about what you're wearing. Which is another reason why I haven't posted any outfits of the days or any um, haul videos. Not that I haven't been buying stuff. I'm actually thinking about doing a luxury haul video because your girl's been buying a lot of Louis Vuitton recently and I have a problem guys. Oh, I blame my sister but I have bought quite a few Louis Vuitton items and maybe I'll do like a luxury Louis Vuitton haul um, of the items that I recently purchased. Uh, yeah. That may be in the works as well. Besides that, uh, I have, if you guys haven't seen me on Instagram or haven't followed me on Instagram, I have recently gotten a little, mm, some tattoos. Um, I guess I'll explain my tattoos in this video. But my first tattoo is this one. And it just says Love Dad and it has my dad's birth date on here. If you don't know, my dad passed away from cancer about four years ago. Um, a little over four years ago. And... Um, in order to honor him, I did want to get a tattoo of him. So the Love Dad is actually how he signed all of his cards to me. Like all the birthday cards and um, Valentine's Day cards. It always said Love Dad. And this is actually his handwriting. And he always made sure he put an apostrophe. Or not an apostrophe. <laughs> an explanation point at the end of Love Dad. Let me see if you can see that. I hope you can see that. And then just, I actually added his birthday afterwards. Like literally it was just Love Dad. And then I was like, this is kind of plain. It was my first tattoo. I was afraid of needles, but whatever. I got the birthday added afterwards. And I got the birthday the same day as I got. Oh, this one's going to be hard to show. But as I got this tattoo. Which, this is my second one. It's just a Bible verse that really rings true to me in my life. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. I'll post pictures as well. But that is my second tattoo. Um, that one honestly did not hurt. Um, this one literally took 10 minutes. That one maybe took 15 minutes. It really didn't um, hurt that much. And then my last and final one, well not my final one because I plan on getting more tattoos, but my latest one is this bad boy right here. <laughs> um, this is my final biggest um, tattoo that I've gotten since I've been gone. Um, and I've only been gone a couple months, guys. Like, okay, it's almost been a year, but I've gotten three tattoos in a year. That's kind of a lot, I feel like. Anyway, this is my favorite tattoo. It is an elephant. Um, what inspired me to get this tattoo, number one, is I love elephants. Elephants are so... They're powerful but understated um, and I just felt like an elephant just represented who I was and then I started researching like what elephants mean to different cultures and this is how I came up with the tattoo. I actually saw a picture of an elephant, half elephant, half lion and I'm like hmm, instead of the lion because I felt like the lion was masculine, I was like instead of the lion how about I use the words that elephants represent in different cultures to make up the other side of the elephant so that is what you see right here um and it just has like power strength loyalty i literally i just had my tattoo artist sketch this out and he did all the work like literally i just told him i wanted a half elephant and i gave him a list of words and he did all the stencil he did the font he did everything else and i really really um liked what he did i think it came together very well um if you guys don't follow me on instagram or if you follow me on instagram you guys know that i have been traveling like crazy like since the beginning of the year i've gone on at least one airplane every month no joke like at least one so some months i've actually gone away twice and everybody's like when do you actually work guys i work my secret to traveling is only take one day off if you're gonna do this. You have to do long weekends. So take either a Monday off or you have to take a Friday off and just do a long weekend. That's what I've been doing. So I've been to Las Vegas. I've been to, where did I go for my birthday? Jamaica. I've been to Chicago, of course. I've been to New Orleans. I've been to, I think I went to Chicago again. 
I've been to Peoria. I've been to, where else have I been? It's Atlanta. I have been to, I feel like I've been one more place and I can't remember where I've been. But I've been traveling, guys. Um, Literally, if I could get paid to travel, I would do so in a heartbeat. But I haven't found the method of getting paid to travel yet. Um, and my job is not going to pay me to travel. No. That's, that, the job that I have currently is not going to pay me to travel. Um, but literally, I enjoy traveling, but I did recently get sick. Um, because Oh, I've been to Florida twice. I went to Miami, and then I went to Orlando right after that. Like, I was literally gone. Back to back to back. Literally. That was like something I will never probably do again because it burnt my body out and I ended up getting sick. Yeah, I'm just out here living my best life when it comes to traveling. I love traveling and going different places. Um, my next vacation is not until the end of this month. I'm going to a Cowboys versus Lions game in Dallas. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge football fan. I absolutely love football. That is my favorite sport. I am a girl who loves football. I love me some football. I really don't care who's playing, but my favorite team, of course, is the Detroit Lions because that's where I'm from. Win or lose, they're always going to be my favorite team, and I get the pleasure of going to um, the Detroit Lions versus Cowboys game in Dallas. So I'm excited to go to Dallas Stadium. In October, I will be going to Bali, Indonesia um, for my sister's birthday, so I'll be gone for a week. I am definitely vlogging for Bali. That is like a thing that I will do. I'm going to do a whole separate series on Bali all together. I'm going to do like the sightseeing and then I'm going to do the shopping in Bali because I'm going to be doing both. I am so excited for Bali. Literally, I feel like I've never gone out of the Like I've been out of the country but never somewhere so far away and so different from the U.S. Um, also, I want to tell you guys that um, as far as how I've been doing mentally, um, and the reason why I feel like I've been traveling so much is really I'm trying to escape my own mind. Um, my mind can be destructive at times. It's nothing where I'm sitting up here contemplating life or anything like that as far as taking my life. But I do get bits of depression from time and time again. And um, if you guys haven't seen my depression after weight loss video, you should go watch that. But um, I'm doing okay. I, I definitely get days where I'm more depressed than others and there's days where I'm totally not depressed and there's days that I wake up and I'm just depressed for no reason. Um, it's just been hard. Weight loss is something that just isn't a fix-all. Like, and a lot of people think that, oh, once you lose weight, like, I've gotten DMs where it's like, I want the surgery because I'm trying to save my marriage. And, uh, guys, I'm not a therapist by any sorts of the imagination. I don't know everything there is to know about weight loss or personal life or how weight loss affects marriages and things like that. But I can tell you from my own personal experience, weight loss is not a fix-all. Um, I thought that I would feel a lot more happier and I'm not saying that I'm not happier since I've lost the weight. I am very happy with where I am in life right now and where how I feel. I feel great now. I feel like I can get out and I can do things. Um, and that's what I've been doing. I've just been living my best life, seriously. But I do still get depression. And depression is real. And it, it's scary that it just comes on suddenly. Like, nothing can, nothing has to trigger it. I literally just wake up and I feel depressed. And I'm like, why am I feeling like this? And then after a day or two, I'm back to normal. I feel like I just need to talk through my feelings sometimes. And I have nobody to talk to or vent to. Um, and I don't want to do it on social media or YouTube because I really don't want people knowing all my personal business. You guys are family, but come on out. You guys can't know every bit of detail about what I'm doing. I'm still single. <laughs> um, I have been dating. I have been dating a couple of different people here and there, um, but nothing serious. Been a lot of issues with dating. Um, just haven't had the best of luck with dating, but that's okay. I'm still here and I'm still, you know, just living life and whatever comes, comes. Um, but yeah, I have been dating. I've been dating more because I feel like I'm more comfortable being me ever since I lost the weight. And I've, I feel more confident in order to go out there and say, yes, I'm ready to date or let's go out on a date. So I have been dating going out on dates and things like that but I am not in a relationship I am currently single so yeah holla at your girl no I'm just joking but yeah that's kind of where I've been why I've been ghosting 
Um, I've just been really busy traveling and working and you know dealing with bouts of depression and then sometimes dating my life just gets away there's not enough time in the day like let me just tell y'all that there's not enough time in the day that is why I have not been posting but I do want to make this channel something because I realized with all the people that DM me like literally guys you guys are amazing but you guys don't realize how many DMs I get literally every day I get a lot of DMs on my not on my not so much on my personal Instagram where I post my fashion, but on my weight loss. I didn't realize how big weight loss surgery and me posting those type of videos and following my journey on YouTube was going to get. Um, that's the 100,000 views is actually on my 10 things they, or was it five things? It might have been the five or 10 things that I they didn't tell me before weight loss surgery. Um, that's my highest viewed ch um, video on this channel combined with every other video like you can combine the views of all the rest of my videos and it still would not do that one video I have over a hundred thousand views on that so I, I didn't think that it would be as big or as prevalent as it is but apparently it's really prevalent I get a ton of DMs and I can't respond to every single one although I know I want to um, I am thinking of doing a website for weight loss um, where I can address frequently asked questions because it gets repetitive most times and I love you guys but come on now like if you either watch my videos follow me on Instagram all your answers are there like I have answered pretty much all the basic questions that you have on those sites I promise that I will be posting more and doing more on this channel because I really really feel like I'm helping somebody and I'm helping multiple people and I didn't know how much I was helping people through what they were going through. There's a lot of you guys that reach out. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm really, I'm just this 27 year old girl from Michigan that just started a YouTube channel just because in college, you know, I had my, my time where I was away from the channel for years. Like people follow me. People really do follow my journey and they appreciate my journey because there's people out there, they're not strong enough to share their journey. And I want to be that voice for them. So I'll, I really do want to make sure that I am taking care of this channel because I really am doing it for you guys and for myself because I feel like I have an outlet to kind of be myself. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about where I've been. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've gotten to the end of this video, you're amazing because I've been rambling like this. I already tell, I could already tell I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions on a future video, make sure you leave those down below. Side note guys, there's been a lot of negative comments on my videos while I've been gone. And I'm like reading these comments and I'm like, did you really have to comment? Let's keep negativity away. I understand that you guys aren't always going to agree with what I do or what I say, but come on now. But I would like to keep this channel a positive channel so if you're gonna be negative how about you see your way out okay bye bye anyway um thank you guys so much for watching again make sure you are subscribed to stephanie also lovely and turn on your post notifications for updates and follow me on my instagram and social medias my snapchat and things like that i'm always on there snapchat and instagram that's where you can find me i'll see you guys in my next video bye